hello guys welcome to the dms online school if you are new to this channel you are most welcome and on this channel i teach mathematics biology science and also revise past examination paper so in today's video i will be reviewing to you the science paper 2 predictions for 2022 all right so i already did a science paper 1 predictions for 2022 if you didn't watch it you can click on the video whose link is appearing here all right so take this video as a guide not as a complete leakage all right so this video will be helpful to you because it is going to help you even as you study uh, as you study and the topics that you must concentrate on so the topics which are in this video are highly expected to be present in the exam and the topics in this video that have been highlighted in red which means those topics highlighted in red they have a high probability of being present in the examination and also most of them they are the ever present topics in the examination all right so let's start with it topic number one which is introduction to chemistry under introduction to chemistry there might there, uh, the, there might be a question on classifying the branches of chemistry also explaining the importance of chemistry and also describing the challenges of chemical industrial activities then we move to topic number two under topic number two which is the particulate nature of matter you expected to or we are expecting to have the question on classifying the basic units of matter also classifying the states of matter also describing the changes of states of matter endothermic and exothermic processes here must be known also uh, explaining diffusion in fluids and then we move to topic number two which i mean topic number three which is experimental techniques under ex experimental techniques uh, identifying different measuring apparatus used in chemistry also describing uh, describing the differences between a pure substance and a mixture also explaining how to determine the purity of a substance and also explaining the importance of purity of a substance and also interpreting the simple paper chromatograms uh, then we move to topic number five which is atoms elements compounds and the molecules under this topic uh, it is describing an atom and its structure describing the properties of uh, fundamental particles of an atom then uh, describing an element and compound and also describing isotopes and also calculating relative atomic mass of an element given the percentage abundance of isotopes from uh, mass spec uh, spectrum then also uh, describing the use of radioisotope yeah radioactive isotopes and also now describing the formation of ionic or electrovalent bonds and also describing the formation of covalent bonds and also identifying the differences in properties of ionic and covalent compounds and also describing metallic bonding and also describing the electrical and the thermal conductivity of metals and also describing valence and the valence electrons and also describing bonding sorry here this one came later i edited it so describing bonding must also be known also interpreting or formulating and balancing chemical equations and also constructing net ionic equations from balanced equations or chemical equations we move to topic six which is acid bases and the sorts here uh, describing acids bases or alkalis in terms of ions they contain or produce in aqua solution also describing the meaning of weak strong dilute and concentrated acids and alkalis and also explaining the characteristic properties of acids and also explaining the characteristic properties of bases and also explaining the importance of acid base reactions and also classifying salts according to their nature and solubility in water and also uh, describing the preparation of salts and also describing the various types of oxides then we move to topic 7 which is the more concept under this topic uh, calculating the relative formula mass of a compound and also determining the physical masses of any substance using the molar mass and also determining the physical volume of any substance at RRTP and vice versa and also determining the concentration of a solution and applied dilution law and also calculating uh, calculating 
uh, or calculation involving stoichiometric reacting modes and volumes of gases and solutions, and also describing and calculating the percentage yield in a reaction and the percentage purity of a substance, and also demonstrating calculations involving different types of acid-base reactions. All right, then we, we move to topic number eight, which is chemical reactions. Under chemical reactions, interpreting data on the rate of chemical reactions, and also describing methods of controlling the rate of chemical reactions, and also describing the effect of a catalyst on the activation energy. Then we move to topic uh, nine, which is the periodic table under periodic table groups and the periodic trends. So here you actually concentrate also on it the uses of um, each element of the group for example group one group seven and the group eight all right and then here we move to uh, topic 10 which is metals and the metals describing general properties of uh, metals also explaining the apparent non-reactivity of aluminium and also describing the extraction and uses of copper and aluminium and also explaining the advantages of using alloys over pure metals and also identifying common uses of alloys and also 11 nanometers all right so under nanometers describing the physical and chemical properties of nanometers and also describing industrial manufacture of nitrogen and also explaining the importance of uh, nitrogenous fertilizers and now we move to organic chemistry all right so under organic chemistry we look at what um uh, what is this one we look at uh such saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons and also we look at the macro molecules or polymers so guys we have come to the end of this science paper 2 predictions for 2022 so this is a special announcement that this coming holiday i will be giving online tuitions on the topics that are always present in the examination like bonding chemical equations and the rest so i will be doing that only online all right so if you're interested please you are invited so don't regret not jo joining or using this opportunity so it is only 60 quacha for both physics and chemistry remember 50 uh, 60 quacha can be spent in a day but the knowledge that you are going to acquire from it can benefit you and the generation to come forever and ever all right guys so we have come to the end of this uh this video i hope this video will help you do well in your examinations as for now guys bye and see you in my next video as for now bye and please peace